I feel better now, Albert. Why? Because I love it when you bring lots of things for us to look at and a tech demo wouldn't be yeah. the same without your amazing kit. Well, first and of all, I invite you a coffee. I was going to say, you've yeah. even brought me a coffee. How yeah. sweet of you, just after lunch, exactly just what I'm you. after. Just um, for you. I'm, gosh, that is very hot. It is. Uh, and do you know what? I actually prefer my coffee a little bit cooler. <laughs> you want to check the temperature? Yeah, go on then. 70 degrees Celsius. 70 degrees. That is a little hot for yes. little old me. I, I hate burning okay. my tongue. If um, you have to cool it down, how would well you want to do it? I'd probably give a little, like, little yeah. blow like on it. it. With, yeah. with the soup. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, this is exactly the same technique that the Formula One engineers are using to cool down the temperatures and to keep the temperature within the window that the thing is working perfectly. How brilliant. Yeah. It's just the same as me drinking my cup of coffee <laughs> yeah. to, to cool it down. And then we've got some wonderful things here yeah. as well. Lots of different liquids. We don't have coffee. No we don't coffee. have coffee in the car. No coffee no. in the car. Uh, but we do have lots of different fluids yeah. to cool down. We have water that is mixed with an anti-corrosion uh, product that it, it gives this special color. We have hydraulic. We have oil. Oil as well, absolutely. And we have air. Empty. Empty. We need to cool the air as well. So, the... so tell me, how do we do it? Because it must be different for all okay. of these different the uh, thing, substances. We could just take the bodywork and make the air there flow around the engine, for example, the power unit to cool it down. But obviously, it's a big mass of metal and we should only cool down the external parts of it. So how are we going to do it internally? We go, very easy. We take uh, water, a lot of water, and we make like... Uh, Almost pipes like going inside, going yeah. like a snake inside the proper engine in contact with the metal parts and we put water around. But of course that water, by the very fact that it's cooling down metal, it's going to be heating up. So how do you exactly. then solve we, that problem? We take the temperature from the metal parts but we put it on the water. So what we need to cool down this water is a radiator. It's what we call a radiator. There's this, this part here that we have here. And well, you can see that little, like this, 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 this. Exactly, yeah. like on a snake. Because the air passed through this way. This should be on the side of the side pods. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we put the water, we put the oil, uh, we put the hydraulic liquid on this part of the radiator, inlet, outlet. And all this air that is going through will take the temperature from the oil, from the liquid that we want to cool down, and we'll put it in the air. So we will transfer the temperature from the liquid to the air. And I always wonder, you know, is there a radiator on each side of the car? Is yep. it just on one? Depending on the configuration. Normally on one side the, the teams have the water cooling and on the other side they, they have coolers or intercoolers for the oil, for the hydraulics, for the gearbox. Also they have some uh, cooling systems on the top on the engine cover because Alpine, they have inlets. Alpine have changed that quite yeah. a lot, haven't they? They run it almost a different uh, setup on each side of the car. That's the reason we see asymmetric outlets at the back of the car. At the front is always the same, but at the rear they can change and they can put even uh, asymmetric configuration, asymmetric shapes on this, depending on the quantity of air they want to take from the, uh, the cooling system. You want to see how is the radiator inside? This is a little baby yes. one. A little baby. <laughs> that was. A, a, this is a cooler for the gearbox oil. So I just cut it this end to see that the oil is going through these micro tubes inside it. If you can see the detail, and the air is going through that way and it's cooling down the temperature of the oil that is going in. Fascinating. Very I love that. Being yeah. able to see inside the yeah. car. I feel like I'm getting a sneak we, preview. We, we're talking about uh, cooling down liquids mm -hmm. like the oil, the water but we have to cool down as well the air. The air, absolutely. So this part of the car, this is the yep. turbocharger? Yes, this is coming from the turbocharger when we compress the air before we put it into the engine and in the IC, we need to cool it down because when we pressure a fluid, we compress a fluid, it increases the temperature. So better to cool it down first. What? How? We put the hot air in through there. End. We put it on the side on the car again, like the water radiator and the air that is the airflow that is coming from the front to the back is cooling down the proper air before we put it in the engine. And then it comes out. And go okay. into the intake uh, and uh, on the combustion engine. Uh, and There's different ones. Um, some, some teams use it, uh, use water to cool down the air. Right. And it's a very small piece that goes inside the chassis like Mercedes, like Ferrari, different configuration, but the target is always the same. Cool down the liquids to keep everything under control. Interesting. And now yeah. I, I feel like you've stumped me here because this <laughs> this looks like we're going to do a bit of cooking. Yeah. And it's not that kind of show, I like cooking. Albert. I like cooking if I have time. <laughs> We've had the coffee. We're going one step up. What are we What are we cooking in here? It looks like potatoes, but this I'm guessing not. To understand, because what we use this uh, proper tool of the 
of the kitchen that is a, a pressure cooker. A pressure cooker. It is to compare because the water system is pressured as well. It's working under pressure. So we pressure all the system of the cooling system with water in order to have the boiling point under mm -hmm. control because at the sea level, the water boils at 100 degrees. In Mexico, at a high level, at 90 degrees. So we don't want that to change. And we increase the pressure of the whole system like this, and we can increase the temperature of the whole system up to 120 degrees. Without it boiling? Yes, without boiling. That is what we need, because if everything starts boiling, we, we will all sorts of trouble. A, a big mess. Absolutely. OK, yep. so um, we've looked at all of this. Yep. Um, how uh, we also see on the grid we, we try to see the car because obviously this is when it's moving yeah the car is moving everything's working we have a big when, fan there yeah 300 per hour we have airflow and it's all it's all very... manageable out yes. there but when they're sitting on the grid for example that's a good point uh, how are they making sure that the car is still keeping its optimum temperature on a road car we have a fan an electrical fan that it switches it off and it creates like an airflow going through so we can keep the temperatures under control, but not on the Formula One. We have no fans. Yes. There. So we have to create an airflow. How we do it? How the teams do it? With a fan. Very <gasps> the easy. leaf blower. Yes, a leaf blower. <laughs> but you know the temperature here, for example, a leaf blower, it's, it's actually 30. Yeah. It's still hot. It's not doing anything for me. So what we do have, uh, I just create myself this one because I don't want to stall anyone from uh, anything from the teams. But you see, this is dry ice. Yes, you often see that on the grid. Lots yep. of uh, teams have that ready to go. Yeah. So the cooler is the temperature. We get into these uh, radiators, the quicker the temperature goes down. Yeah, absolutely. So let's put that uh, minus 20, minus 30 degrees. It's really cold. This is what I've been looking for all this weekend. <laughs> not other thing that uh, carbon dioxide. Car yes, carbon dioxide, okay. yeah. So th the good thing is that it's going from solid to gas, mm -hmm. no liquid. So you see, it's been here for a while. And yep. there is no no water. No water. Different at all. to the leaks we have on that boat. But yes, don't look over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what they do is to put on the intake of the blower. Okay. So it was warm before. Yeah. Yeah. Now be careful with the hand because it, it, it can. I go it far can, away. Yeah, yeah. You see? Much cooler. It's much cooler. You get people queuing up to be, be cooled down <laughs> yeah. in the paddock. But it's dangerous. You have to wear gloves. No, don't do it like me. You have to wear gloves. I have gloves for you yes. because it can uh, create a big damage to the skin because it's really, really cold. So what they do is just create an airflow going to the radiator to cool down whatever it is. I can inside. feel it's cooler If over we here. could measure the temperature before and after, we could see the difference. So it means that he's doing his work. Very, very useful. Good. Well, I'd love to say I've cooled down, but I haven't. Have you cooled down? It's still incredibly hot yeah, here in Hungary. <laughs> uh, but how fascinating, though, to, yep. to look at all these different systems, how they're cooled inside the F1 car, all that going on while the car is circulating yep. around the circuit at and, several and hundred And the other miles thing, Rosanna is the driver, but this is another chapter. That is. And a following Stay tuned chapter. for that one. Yes. Coming soon, I'm sure. Yep. Albert, thank you so much. Another fantastic tech demo. I, I cook a goulash for you if Ooh, you want yes, to. Oh, yes, let's go yeah, together. Let's go. Yeah.